So I'm Matthew from uh, Morphor. We're a Belgian modular synthesizer brand. And uh, we've been putting together a couple of modules. Yeah. And uh, today I think uh, I'd like to introduce the Plectrum, which is uh, our first module, uh, which is up here, yeah, on the left. And it's a BVD based um, plugged string sound synthesis module, completely analog, uh, using the car plus strong technique. So we have a BBD in a loop with a, uh, a filter to uh, turn a noise signal into a plug string sound. Hi. And today I've just got it set up for a couple of different things, but uh, the first thing I've got set up is just the, the keyboards so we can uh, play some arpeggios and uh, just hear the, the range in, uh, in notes of the, of the plug string sound. It's quite a pure sound at the moment, so we go from low to high. Um, and what we can do is I'll play I'll play a, a, an arpeggio here and then just adjust some of the the feedback. Uh, I'm not listening to it right now, but we should be getting some more sustained the feedback. It might go into overdrive, but that's no problem. So what you can also do is you can use it as a as a self resonating circuit as well if you want to self resonate. And then we can change the tuning as well, so we can make it uh, lower pitched or higher pitched. Uh, get more uh, sort of tympanic sounds. And if we uh, adjust the color, we can go into uh, more sort of dark, uh, sort of suppressed sounds, or we can go really bright, some really nice bright sounds, and uh, get some high trebles in there. The module itself has this internal filter for the color, uh, which we can activate here. But you can also uh, break out the filter if you want to and connect it to your own filter setup. So I haven't done that here at the moment. Uh, but you can break out the loop into your own filter and create your own shaping if you want to. Anything else you want to show us? Yeah, maybe. So let's have a look at the sequencer as well, because uh, I've just got a little sequence here. I'm just going to check that it's, uh, that it's running. Yeah, so, uh, so what I've got here is I've got uh, two tracks running. The first track is just a bass line, and I'll, I'll uh, isolate that for us now. So that's the baseline, which is just being made by this plectrum here. Uh, I'm using a, a normal sequencer and just pitching to the one volt per octave with the pitch and gating uh, at the gate uh, using the internal filter. But if I want to use it for making other kinds of sounds, I've made a uh, bass drum, bass kick kind of sound here. So that's the second track where I'm using a low pass filter to, uh, to generate uh, low, low sounds. And we can add some hi-hats uh, using exactly the same signal on the input, but filtering with the high pass filter to show how much uh, how much musical energy there is inside the signal that we can use. So we get a lot of lows and a lot of highs. And like I say, I, I mean, I'm talking about Plectrum today, but we have a lot of other modules as well that we've been making to, to accompany in it. And uh, so we have our own brand of uh, analog filters, analog uh, envelopes, analog LFOs, uh, utility modules like a buffered melt, uh, mixers that are mutable, so we have a lot of modules. We have about 10 modules so far. And like I said in the beginning, we've been around for about two years now. So relatively new on the market, but uh, we really strive for good quality build, good quality sound, and uh, as much as possible, we're trying to use analog sound sources. To find out more about Eurorack modules from Morphor, please visit their website and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. You are watching CatSense TV.